What's going on YouTube? It's Rock from Flip the Thrift and I wasn't planning on doing a haul video today but I did find some stuff today in the trash so we got trash to cash. You won't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Okay, so we got a little bit of a haul video today. I did buy some cassette tapes today. Um, when I seen the ad, I got them off of Facebook. When I seen the ad, it was, let me move this up a little bit more. When I seen the ad, the ad was actually, I seen Kiss tapes. So I was like, okay, well there's Kiss there. Um, they'll probably pay for the whole lot, you know, cause I did see like three of them. So if there's three of them, I figured that there's probably more. Um, I'm just gonna give you like a quick, visual right here where is the kiss up oh, there's some rolling stones i didn't even see that one that one is hot rock 64 to 71 that's a good one too right there it's not a really old one but some of the older ones go for better money but there's some leonard skinner let's see there's some leonard skinner right in here uh there's the kiss right there there's a bunch of kiss kiss ones right in there um, Stevie Earle, I have no idea who that is. Melissa Etheridge, there's some Fleetwood Mac. Um, Charlie Daniels Band, there's some decent ones. There's some ACDC up here at the top. There's Back in Black. Um, the other one is the Razor's Edge. And then there's, what's this one? Stiff Upper Lip. Not really too familiar with that album. There's Aerosmith. There's two Aerosmiths. There's Aerosmith Pump. There's Greatest Hits, Gary Allen. There's Bad Company. The straight shooter and the um, so there's definitely some money here. There's a lot of money here. There's thirty dollars, um, spent, and I would imagine that I'll probably make like two hundred bucks off of all of these tapes. So, definitely not a bad pickup. There's the nitty gritty dirt band, Ted Nugent, best of the pirates in Mississippi, Poison's greatest hits. Check that album out. They're a little dusty. They just need to be cleaned up. Tapes don't have to be in perfect condition. The tapes themselves are in really good shape. If I could get a hold of some of the plastics to replace these, like if I could just buy new plastics to put them in to make them new, it would be that would be really helpful. Um, here's ZZ Top, Monster Ballads. That's the the that's a good album. That's a good ZZ Top album. All right, so plan on making a decent amount of money on them. There's Cinderella, Cheap Trick, Boston. See, I don't know if I want to put them together that way. Um, I can make a big rock lot out of all of them. Um, or out of, not all of them, but, you know, I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to split them up. I really don't want to list them individually. I could probably flip that for $100 and make 70 bucks really fast. So, we'll see. We'll see. This, this was in the trash today. It does say Made in Italy on it. I don't know. I have to do more research on it. At first, I thought this was like candle wax, like dripping, but it's supposed to be there, I guess. I don't know how that this was made or fired. I did clean it up a little bit in there. I cleaned the inside of it. Um, I would imagine this is just a pitcher. Um, I mean, who knows? This could have came from, from, um, you know, J.C. Penny or whatever, Ross or T.J. Maxx. I don't know. I have to do more research on that. So. But anyway, it was free. I just thought I would pick it up, just take a chance on it. This is a this is a longer burger mug. This was free as well. There was some stuff. There's a guy that resells out here that has a shop, and he's been throwing things out lately, like out at the end of his driveway. And I didn't know that he was doing that. I was in the area doing Instacart, and I seen the stuff, so I just pulled it. You know, obviously I turned around and went back and grabbed some stuff. This was actually in a, in a neighborhood that I was in. I believe it's missing. There's supposed to be a blue book. I think that the blue book is missing. Um, yeah, because here's the stickers for the blue book. I may have forgotten it. I may have not have looked good enough and didn't see the blue book, or it may have been ruined. But these are all new. All the discs inside are brand new. This is a Hooked on Phonics set, but it's incomplete. Maybe 20 bucks for an incomplete set. This was also free. It was part of the free stuff. This 
gin jet. I would imagine that it's vintage. It's made in Israel. Um, it's all leather. So you got the leather skirt. And then you have the matching jacket. It's a really long jacket. It has a belt. So it's complete. It's in great condition. Um, it may need dry clean. It kind of has that old smell. Not old smell, but... I don't know. I, I, I don't know. This clothes that I bought from that one lady, it had the same type of smell. I don't know if it was whatever she was using, but there's the jacket. It's a pretty long jacket. Just your basic um, leather suit set. So it's the jacket. It probably had a shirt maybe that went with it. I'm not sure. <clears throat> this was part of the free. This is for a bottle. You put your bottle in there. It's, um, it's called Frozen. So, you know, you put your stuff in maybe whatever you want, pack of smokes, phone, I don't know, whatever it is that you do, and um, has a hole at the bottom to it so that the bottle can sweat, um, has a pull strap, so I guess you just put your bottle or your can in here, um, probably would work better with cans because you could close it all the way and the can would probably stay colder longer, I would imagine, yeah, I would imagine you, know, you could put a can of soda in there. Um, and then yeah and then it has a clip to where you can carry where you can clip it onto your belt belt loop or whatever or book bag or wherever so that was pretty cool that was a good find it is what it is that was free taboo i'm not sure what this game is worth it's probably worth about 10 bucks i did open it up to look inside and it wasn't put away right there's stuff that's sticking out yeah so it's it's definitely complete Probably was never never played. A lot of these games, people never played them. Fax service available. Um, yeah, it was played. There's some. Okay. So. It's got batteries in it. It definitely works. Let's see. I have to make sure it's not... Make sure it's not broken. I don't know how this game works, so I, I don't know anything about it. I've seen it in the stores. I never pick it up. Um, I would imagine it's not a very, not a very sought after or high dollar pickup. Take the batteries out of that thing. All right. So there was some, there was some vinyl. I had to grab the vinyl, of course. They're all in great condition. This is um, like a time life. Um, Christmas album. The records are all in great condition. They still have the sleeve. Um, this album's only worth like five bucks, but still it was free. <sighs> Kidding me? Okay. Ah, man. I'm, now I know why they threw this game away. Okay, can we shut it off or something here? That's why the book was on the other side. Man, that's annoying, isn't it? Alright, well, we're wasting time. So just we'll put it over there and I'll deal with it later. Okay, this is a local album. It's actually part a Pennsylvania album, so it's not really worth anything. Maybe to somebody that lives in this town, it's um, Shireman's Town, PA. The record itself is in like really, really good condition. I usually test records while I'm working. So the record's in great condition. Like it's in like it looks dirty. <laughs> it's just dusty. But other than that, the record itself is in great condition. So all of the records were in good shape. This one is ABC. Um, it is the theme from SWAT. This record's only worth a couple bucks, you know, two or three dollars. The Chicago album, this is the double LP. It's got two records in it. It's got the one and then it's second record. This album's worth a couple bucks. I'll do a little bit more research and make sure it's not, because some records have are special, like special edition records and they're worth a little bit more. Let me get this up a little higher. Hmm. It died for some reason. Ah, thirsty. It was so hot today. Oh, my God. Make sure you guys are staying uh, staying hydrated, man. I drink too much soda. You should probably drink water. But anyway, <clears throat> I should expect to get a few bucks for this just for this case. There is a, a number inside. I believe that this, this was like a sander or something or... It's a couple pieces that fit in here, but this is a really big case, but it's not really that heavy. I mean, it only this probably only weighs a couple pounds. You know, I don't see it weighing more than five pounds. I mean, maybe like three or four pounds. I could be wrong. So this whole box I just grabbed. There was a bunch of stuff that I threw in it, but there was stuff that was already in it, so I'm not really sure what's all in that box. 
but we're going to go through this bag real quick. Um, I got another fanny pack. This fanny pack's cool. It's got little side zippers right there where you can put your little, you know, your little unmentionables in there. But, uh, yeah, whatever. It barely fits around my waist, and I stretched it all the way out, so I'm either I'm fat or this is for a woman. But there's somebody with a skinny waist. Just a plain black. I didn't see anything on the inside. Even the leather ones are really hard to sell. I mean, I just grabbed it because if somebody sends me an offer, that's cool. It's got a little pencil pencil or pen holder. I've never seen one with that inside. That's cool. I'll make sure that I take a picture of that so that people know that that's there. Um, usually it would just have a little tags made in China or whatever, but there's a lot of pockets on this thing. I mean, there's like eight pockets. There you go. This is nice. It has like a wallet too inside where you can put your ID in. That's pretty cool. Fishing license, what you know, whatever. Depending on what you're using it for, but that's pretty cool. Okay. These, I think that these are shower curtain pieces. They're really heavy. They're metal. I'm going to do a little bit more research on these. They may be worth money for replacement. If somebody, when you buy something and you want to replace a part that you lose or break or anything, you'll be surprised what people will pay for replacement parts for almost anything. So there, I did pick up some VHSs. There was a bunch in here. This is a hilarious movie. John Candy was, he was funny. You know, God rest his soul. He was really funny too. It's always the big guys that go, you know. All right, these I got to do more research on. I believe that these are like pattern scissors. I seen scissors and I know that some of the older vintage scissors sell for really good money. I mean, you can sell a pair of scissors for $100. You'd be surprised. This may be a $25 pair of scissors. It's really heavy. So I just grabbed them. They're in great shape. They're not rusty. Um, condition is probably an issue, you know, a big deal when it comes to something like that, especially when they're newer. I don't think that they're really old, but I could be wrong. Um, these, I cleaned these up. These are nice mugs. They're still a little wet, a little dirty inside, but they're like religious mugs. There was two of them, so I grabbed them. So I got a couple more mugs. Easy to list. I'll probably sell them as a pair. This one says, has a little cottage on it. They're Amcall for the gift of art. They're made in USA, manufactured in China, microwave and dishwasher safe. That's a good thing. So this is a Thomas Kincaid, which is a popular thing. This one is a religious for the gifts of art. This one's the Forest Chapel. So these are Thomas Kin Kincaid. They might be worth a few bucks. I'll probably sell them both together. I might get $10 for both of them. I'll just have, I'll, I'll make sure, I'll probably have to add shipping. I may be able to fit them both in wrapped really good in like a regional rate A. I'll double box them, and uh, I usually work. They work out really well. I always ship glass. I got a terrible re re um, return today. It was a hundred and sixty dollar return. Um, we're not going to get into that. I don't want to talk about it. It it disgusts me, but it is what it is. It happens. It's a part of the job. Um, what is it? Holland American Line. This is a cool bag. I just started stuffing things in the bag, not knowing if maybe this bag may, may be worth something. It's just a cool little travel bag. It's like denim, kind of, on an American line. Okay, so that's a travel line. That's a cruise ship. So this may be worth a few bucks, you know, maybe $20, possibly. You never know. You just don't know. Hey, you never know, Charlie. You never know. Hmm. Unsung Hero, Fox 43 News at 10. Check that out. That's pretty cool. That may have some significant value. That may be a piece of history right there. I do have a VHS player. I, I don't know if I have it, have one working. We'll have to check that out. That looks pretty cool. We'll take a look at that. We got a... Uh, they, they must go inside it. Those are the little stickers or whatever. Is this Kodak... Possibly, maybe not. I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. But I got an extension cord. I got plenty of them. I can just wrap that up, put that with the rest of them. This was in there. This is, it was $25 when it was new. This is a Yesterday's Child, the, Do, the Dolly Stone, the Doll Stone collection, something like that. It's numbered. So it has, a, um, has an individual number on it. It's pretty cool. We'll see. Maybe it's worth a few bucks. I don't have a box to it, but you know, you don't always have to have the original box. That doesn't always make a difference. 
Okay, owner's guide manual. Check this out. Cool, Toyota. This is probably worth a few bucks. Is this a VHS? Yeah. Too bad that it's a VHS, but that's pretty cool. That's the owner's manual. So this is an older owner's video guide. What's inside? Power window, seat adjustment, safety, security, table of contents, Toyota. Cool. Wonder which one. Wonder which Toyota. Program headquarters. That's pretty neat. That may be worth a few bucks. We'll see. Maybe a couple bucks to a collector. Here's another VHS Toro Snow Thrower Safety. That's pretty neat. Little safety video. These are things that they just threw away thinking that they didn't have any value. And you never know, they might. Okay, this looks pretty neat. This looks like one of them crazy movies that... And the disc is in great shape. The movie's called Larva. Never heard of this movie. Some of these older crazy movies... Some, some of these movies can be worth a good bit. What's the year on that? I think it says 2000. Is it 2000? I don't know. Whatever. I don't care. The Dork Diaries. There's a book. Okay, why is the lights flickering? Who's messing with the lights? Manny! Somebody messing with the lights? We're going to check it out. Well, somebody was messing with me. That light over there is probably not plugged in all the way. Ooh, a remote. I like to see that. That's an Xfinity remote. That's probably worth a few bucks. It feels... Is it sticky or dirty? A lot of times when you see this rubber and it's sticky, you might as well throw it away because you can't get that out. You're not going to get that off. Batteries in it may be good. Good way to figure it. Find out if they work. Turn your camera on facing you and... See that? Works. The batteries are good. A lot of people don't know that. I learned that from Rockstar Flipper. Thank you, Rockstar. Showing me the way. The wor New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. We'll see. We'll see if it's worth anything. Okay, I think that this is a mug and... It's a mug and a coaster. So, let's take a look at it. Does that come out? Yeah, okay. Ooh, there's the coaster. It's smaller than what I thought it was going to be. It's going to be bigger than that. This is a cool little set. The mug's dirty. I'm going to have to clean it, so I better put it over. It says, each new day brings a new way to praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thanks for the free mug. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus. Jesus loves me. He must love me. I made it this far. Sometimes I wonder why. It's like Little Wayne said. I wonder what 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 am I doing? What what am I doing so right? You know. Wonder why you haven't taken my life, my life. Piece of glass. Don't know what we're gonna do with that. Okay, so this was brand new. Brand new, still sealed in the box. This is probably worth a couple bucks. There's three CDs in there, so I know this is worth at least ten dollars. You know, maybe a little, maybe less, maybe more. We shall see, said the blind man. Okay, VHS-C to VHS adapter. Now, this is worth money. This is worth about $25. This is something that I would pick up any day for a dollar. I already know what this is worth. So, I lost money today with a return, and I gained it. I got it back. So, I'm happy. I'm always happy. I always come up, come up on top. I don't know why I even fret. I said that to somebody one day. They were like, that's not a word. Fret. Don't fret. It means don't worry. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It'll be all good, Johnny. Everything's going to be all right. I can't even get it open. <clears throat> it doesn't want me to open it. Come on. Because I don't think I'm supposed to open that side. I can't even get it out of here. There we go. Is it new? It's not new, is it? There we go. Still in the plastic. Look. Still in the plastic. It's probably not new, but it might be in new condition. Cool. So this is so you can take your take the small tape. And it has one in it. It has a small tape in it too. Check that out. 
That's really cool. It has the tape in it. I'm not really sure how to get it out. How do you get it out? There you go. Just like that. How does it come out? There's the tape. You take the little tape and put it in your camcorder, record it, and then you take the tape and put it in here. It goes in there like that. Let me see. And then boom, and then you put this in. So we're going to test this. If this works, it's worth a few bucks. So this is a good find. This is great. I didn't even look in this box. I just, I seen a bunch of stuff in it, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to grab the whole box. Because from the from what I could see, it looked like there was good stuff in the box. Like, it didn't look like just a, bu a bunch of junk. I seen, like, things on top that were new. The rest are VHS tapes. They're not very exciting. But if there's wrestling... You might have something good. I don't know. If you got some wrestling in there, they're they're worth money. All right, I probably should have left this open because I want to test it. But so there you go. I think these are worth about twenty-five bucks. Um, let's look it up. It's not a brand that I've ever heard of. It's Ambico. A M B I. Ambico Deluxe Video Transfer System. Is that what it is? No, that's not it. That's not what it is. It is Ambico VHS VHS Hold on. VHS C to VHS adapter ER so we are looking at about $25. Ooh, this guy wants $200 for it. That guy wants $64. I'm going to say that's not sold. So there's three listed. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Brand new. They're $180. So people are selling these for $50. So you guys got to take a look at this. This is amazing. This made my day. I didn't know they were worth. I, I knew they were worth $25. I didn't know they were worth this much. Can you guys see that? Can you see the screen? Can you see the price? Let me see if I can flip it around. That one, see what I'm showing you. See that? And this is sold. See that? Sold, completed. $26. So that one sold for $50 plus shipping. Pre-owned. $30, brand new. That guy's an idiot. Look, that one sold for $188, brand new. $49. So we're looking at $50. That one sold for $70. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to list it high. Right now, there is... Let me see. Let's bring it back up. I lost my spot and where we're at. There's three listed right now. Um, that one's not brand new motorized. That's not it. There's one right there for $200. And there's one for $65. Mine's in the box. I'm going to list it probably for like $80. I'll probably get an offer for $50. And of course, I'm going to take it. Yeah, so what do you guys think about that one? Bam, be on the lookout for these. For these, um, the little the little tape that fits in the VHS tape. So you can play your tapes that you record on your... Um, things like this, people don't think they're worth anything. Someone looks at something like this and they would throw it in the trash. But to me, this is worth money because I know the value of this item and I can sell it online and make money. This will sell probably overnight. It's something I can list tonight and it may sell immediately. So when was the last one? I'll, I'll sh I'm going to tell you. The last one sold. Um, what's that? What's the date today? Can't see the books in the way. Today's the 19th. The last one sold on this on. That one sold on the 12th, July, wait, hold on, the 16th, the 14th. Okay, so the last one sold on, on the 16th. That other one's like, it's listed really high, so. <clears throat> Excuse me, man. Oh, I swept my butt off today. I got to get a shower. Okay, I thought this was cool. This this is like something that you hang on your tree. So there you go. That's, <laughs> that was a good score. That I didn't even pay for that. That's pretty neat. This is like made out of, um, it's really heavy. It's like, I guess, porcelain or, you know, whatever, stone, glass. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's pretty cool. Hey, hey, everyone. I'd be happy.
Okay. Mm. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ooh, what do we got here? We got, uh-oh. I love you, not only for what you are, but what, for what I am when I'm with you. Cool. That's really neat. At first I thought it was going to be another one of them baseball cards in it. That's pretty cool. That's a cool plaque. This is probably worth a few bucks. This is something that I would give to my wife. Where would she put it? I don't know. I better move that because that's glass. And then there's a piece of glass here that I got to get rid of. So we'll put the glass over there. We don't want to break nothing. We don't want to hurt ourselves. Okay, so we got... That'll probably sell. We got a leaf. And make sure there's no bugs in here too. Because we're around a lot of bugs and stuff. Is that... What's this one? This one is King of Kings. Maybe worth something. It's like a double VHS. <clears throat> Man. Tony. There's some Benny Hill. That's pretty cool. The best of Benny Hill. That's pretty neat. That might be worth a few bucks. VHS tapes, in my experience, they sell really, really slow. There is any. That is the new, that's the old Annie, I believe. Yeah, I think that's the old, that's the old Annie. So there's Annie. There is from here to eternity. Uh-oh, Star Maker. Woo-woo, it's PG-13, but it doesn't look like it. Red Skeleton. The Honeymooners. Nothing too spectacular, nothing gory or... You know, those are the ones you want to look for. Hey, Vern. Hey, Vern, it's Ernest. Eh, eh. He was a funny, funny son of a gun. All right, so last but not least, this is a good one. This one I already know is a good movie, Black Beauty. This may be worth a few bucks. Family theater, good times. It's not a Disney I'm not sure which one this is. We're gonna look. It says the New Adventures. We're gonna look that one up. Black Beauty. We'll, we'll see that. See what that one's worth. Little Women. Um, that's Winona Ryder. Little Women. That might be worth a few bucks. We'll see. River Dance. The show. The music and dance sensation of the decade. Um, it's things like that that are obscure. Sometimes things like this can be worth money. Maybe they left some money in the case. So I think that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. So not too bad. There's a lot of profit there, especially for that VHS. So there you have it. Um, the big score for today that I know of so far um, is this. So all this stuff was free except for the tapes, which I paid $30 for. They're definitely going to pay for themselves. This was definitely a big score. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up if you like my content. And peace out.